Yo, what up? All right, so I've been trying to do this Q and A, and some questions I just disregarded just because didn't really feel like it. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Not only just for me, not only just for you guys, but to be honest, it's just to be like really real. It's some stuff that I gotta just get off the chest, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and start this. I got a couple questions here that I got. Um, number one is, what invisible, what's invisible that you wish people could see? Me. You know, sometimes I do some good things from here and there. Sometimes, you know, uh, I'll help somebody out. And then, for some fucking reason, they gotta just thank themselves. And I'm like, the fuck? I'm like, yeah, get the fuck out of here with that shit. All right, number two. Let's see. No, fuck that question, all that, all that. What has been your proudest moment in life? One, one of my best and proudest moments was my, uh, was my nephew's uh, first birthday. My second nephew, just to be like that. Um, so I'm a little happy. A lot of personal stuff going on around that, but I like to see a little dude happy. I like to see the dude happy. It's just the way it is. Just proud of the dude. He's getting better. He's like one, two years old. But be hanging on. Let's see. Social media or real life contact? If you could choose one, which one would it be and why? All right. I, I would prefer both, honestly. But since I got to pick one, I would prefer social media. Why? Because ain't nobody got time for all that shit, bro. Ain't nobody got time to fucking go out and start fucking hanging out with people. I, I work 40 hours a week. I come home tired. I'd rather just come home, get on my phone, see what's going on. So if, if somebody wants to hit me up, go ahead and hit me up. But to be hanging out like that, bro, mm -mm, can't do that. Can't do that. All right. If your life ended today, what would you regret and why? All right, so I'm going to make another video to this. But if, if you guys are really interested on, on that next video, it's, it's, it's going to be about this. The one thing I would regret was hurting the, uh, the one person that was there. The one person that, you know, truly believed in me. And to be fairly honest, I, I regret that. It's been about a couple months almost a couple months and I mean I, I'm I'm just hanging in there just just to keep it real with you I regret all the shit that happened all the shit that you know me and this person went through all the shit that I put this per that I put this person through that's one thing I would regret and if you end up watching this video sorry how it is what's your biggest challenge right now and how are you handling it bro simple as this back in the days I had so much hatred bro I had so much hatred right now I'm dealing with the same situation I'm trying not, not to let the hatred get to me because once it gets to me I can't control it I really can't so right now with all the shit going on, I try not to hate. I try not to fucking let that hate get to me. Not let that hate get to my heart. Because at the end of the day, I can't do nothing about it. And if I do, she's going to get me in trouble. I, I, man, Bender done that. Mm -mm. Do you work to live or live to work? What are your thoughts on that? Bro, I work 40 hours a, a, a week. Like I said, 
eight, it's 80 hours per check. And to be fairly honest, bro, I'm check to check, put money aside here and there. I mean, I got what I got because I got it for myself and I got it just because I wanted to. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit right here. But I want it. I want it. I earned it. I work for it. Simple as that. To me, honestly, you work to live. Because at the end of the day, all you got is yourself. Once you end up in that box, bro, you, you're not going to take this. You're not going to take the fucking shoes on your feet. You're not going to take the hat on your head. You're, you're not going to take the fucking chanclas off your foot, bro. You got to work to live, bro. got to work to live. And then one last question. What, what's your best life-related advice you can leave us with today? Bro, all right, for one, don't lie. I've lied for a long time, but only, bro, before we go there, man, I've lied when I had to. Ain't nobody perfect, bro. Ain't nobody perfect. So think about it. I mean... I, I may have thought lying about it was at that time right, but at the end of the day, it got me nowhere. So the best advice that I can give right now, just because it's right here right now, don't lie. Especially to the person you, you, you actually are willing to be there for. Because at the end of the day, all you can do is just keep it 100, 